in this video, we are going to look at a very important area of the hand, which is the quadrangle. Now, where is the quadrangle? The quadrangle is the part of the hand that is formed by the heart line and the head line. So now that I have showed you what was a good quadrangle, I'm going to show you what is not as good quadrangle. And I can tell you there are a lot more not good than good quadrangles. And I have uh, chosen about 15 examples, but there are, of course, a lot more. But this should give you an idea of, of how a person can have an imbalance between heart and head. So the first example that I'm going to show you is when both heart and head are straight. So when things are, when the, the, the lines are curved, it means that we are very flexible. But when the lines are straight, we are lacking in flexibility. So we can tend to think in black and white. So you do it my way. We tend to be very rigid and um, obstinate. And if the lines are long, like where we can still be very loving, but it's going to be our own way. We're going to be a little bit tough to be with. Now, the next example is if you have a curved heart, but a straight head. Very, very common. So when you have the curved heart, it means that you are in touch with your emotions and you have very sincere intentions. But when there is a, sh um, there is a straight head, uh, we are very disciplined. So we have the desire to lead, we have a lot of strength of characters, but we may express ourselves in a slightly abrupt ma manner because we don't have enough flexibility in what is coming out of our mouth. So a lot of misunderstandings can occur and we get hurt when people don't understand us because our heart is really good but our head is a little bit too uh, unbending. Next we are going to look at the opposite so in this case it's going to be a straight heart and a curved head. So because of the curved head we are broad-minded and we're generous, but it's the head. So it's not the heart. So it could be more like in, uh, in neutral matters. So we might be like this, for instance, uh, at work. And the straight heart shows that maybe we can become rigid and demanding in matters that will affect our heart. So in our maybe in our relationships. So we may be sometimes like very nice and and very uh, kind and appreciated at work. But then when it's going to be at home, maybe we are going to be a little bit harder to be with. So our next quadrangle is going to deal with the length of the heart line and the headline. So the next one we are seeing at a short heart line and a long headline. So the long head shows that we have proven we are very intelligent, our mental works very, very well. But the short head shows that we tend to be focused on our own needs and we want to be right because the, the heart is a little bit too short. So we would be the type of people to say, if something bad happens, say, I told you so instead of showing a lot of empathy, like a long hotline would be able to show. Next, the opposite in the length. So we're going to have a long heart, but a short head. So the long heart shows that we have the desire to be generous and we have we, we are open and sensitive and uh, in touch with our emotions, but the head is short. So the head wants to protect itself and it finds all kinds of excuses not to realize dreams. So at time we may have a very practical and cold attitude because our emotions, which is our long hotline, are being censored by our mind. Mm -hmm.